Hey everybody, what's good? Today we're looking at a more creative approach and workflow of how to make your lyric video stand out. Let's go. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey guys, how's it going? Dave here. I hope everybody's doing really well. This video is brought to you by Envato Elements, but we'll talk about that a bit later. I recently had a client ask me to turn one of their music videos into a lyric video. Now I know they thought it'd be something easy to just add text fading in and out, but I also know that they were after something a bit more creative, something a bit more unique, but also within a certain budget. The first thing I got them to do is write the lyrics out. I found that this was a bit more organic and personal, and we we used an app called Procreate for the iPad. It's got selection of brushes and you can be really detailed with everything and you can export the PNZs from there ready to be edited. A cheaper solution is using a Sharpie and white paper. I tried to do that for this video as an example. My handwriting kind of sucks so I do apologize but in theory it's the same thing. Take pictures of the lyrics, stick them in Photoshop, clean them up and then export the PNZs ready to be edited for the video. Step two, rename the files and put everything in order because trust me this is going to save you loads of time when you come to edit everything. Next open up Premiere, load your music in and if you can ask for the separate vocal track from your artist because then it's easy to see where the vocals start and end and it'll be easy for you to sync up all the lyrics next you want to go through your music and make markers select the music and then create markers using the m key for whenever each lyric comes in what i do is I always make sure the show audio units option is selected and the audio scroll is enabled just so you can be super detailed with the audio i go more into detail about all those kind of different audio settings in the previous video on the channel so check that out or if you're a bit more musical you can listen to the track and as it's playing just press the m key to mark where the lyrics exactly come in next we're going to drag in the png photos of the handwritten lyrics and we're going to make a cut on each marker point next i went through every picture and masked out the words as they came in i did all that in premiere i find that after effects has better masking but the latest version of premiere the masking is a lot better so i just went with that just for time's sake next what you want to do is export that lyric video with an alpha channel so you've got a transparent background and drop that into after effects you you can use dynamic link, but this is just what I did for now. And Vato Elements are sponsoring this video, have an amazing library. They've got over a million assets that you can use for your videos, graphics, text templates, stock videos, plus visualizer templates. You just pretty much load these up, add your photos and audio, and you got content for your clients, social media, you name it. Super easy. And honestly, and Vato Elements are running this ridiculous deal. It's $9 for the first month. It'll save you so much time. Clients are happy. You meet your deadlines. To me, it's a no brainer. I use it all the time. Check it out. Links in the description. Let's get back to the video. Now in After Effects, we're gonna drop the video down to start editing. I'm gonna turn on the transparency just so you can see what's going on behind it. Now the first thing I wanna do is add a drop shadow. So I'm gonna to go to my effects and look for the drop shadow and drop that in. Go through the settings and just get them right for what I need. And as you can see, everything's pretty static. So we're gonna add some movement in there. And for this, I'm pretty much just gonna use the wiggle expression. I'm gonna go down to the position, hold down the option key and click on the stopwatch and type in the expression. So I'm gonna go wiggle. And I found that one to 12 should do for what I need for this video. So it gives us a bit of movement, nothing too crazy. You can mess with those numbers and experiment all you like. Next, I'm gonna go down to the opacity and then again, add a wiggle expression option and select the stopwatch. And I'm gonna go for one and 40 for this one. I found that it gives it just enough pulsing glow to make it interesting and not too extreme. Again, you can experiment with those numbers and see what you get. We're gonna add a bit more movement, make sure the 3D layer is on and add a camera. We're gonna go for a two node camera, 35 mil should do it. Add that camera. And then I'm just gonna add some wiggle expressions here for the zoom. Again, press the option key and the stopwatch. And we're gonna go with the wiggle expression and the numbers one and 20. And these are numbers I messed around with and I found that I kinda like the way it looked like this. For aperture, I'm gonna increase it to 23. And for the blur level, I'm gonna add another expression. I'm gonna go with wiggle and two and 100 seem to do well. Next, I'm gonna go down to the blur level and start increasing this until I see some kind of blur. And then we're gonna add an expression to that. Again, wiggle expression. Next, we're gonna add some wiggle on the rotation just for some slight rotation. Just be careful with this one cause you don't wanna to go too extreme cause it'll just go all over the place. So one and 0.5 should do it for this one. 
Next, what you want to do is export that file again with an alpha channel, stick it into Premiere. And as final touches, I found that video from your client might work really well, or you can head over to Envato Elements and check out some of their stock videos and assets and graphics that they've got over there. And then after you've done all that, you end up with a video that looks a bit like this. We're on a journey, looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that and hopefully you learned something new today. If you got any questions at all, drop them in the comments. Special thanks to Envato Elements for sponsoring the video today. And if you want to say hi to me personally, I hang out on Instagram most of the time. Dave the Greco is the handle. Till next time, everybody. Take care. Peace.